Moving on to race number seven and the seventh on the programme at Happy Valley, the second last, and uh, it's another class three contest. Uh, 16.50 the trip once more, headed by Star of Yunlong. Happy Valley the first time for him. Brave Legends, a two-time course in distance, but a champion supreme down in trip. Third last time to world famous over the 1800 metres. Farshad last start course in distance with a big bang bong. He's a two-time course in distance, we have nothing from six so far this uh, season. Zach Burton jumps on board uh, Superb Daddy. For the first uh, time, Flash Famous up in class for last start win and Starship from Barry 11 won't make too much difference for him because he normally drops in anyway. Champion Supreme, Farshad and Flash Famous are the horses that have been on the road. Good to snow is the prediction here for this race, the seventh. Uh, Farshad, he was a winner last uh, time out. So maybe a question mark on whether he leads as well because he hasn't uh, led in his last uh, few starts, Farshad. You've got horses like uh, Star of Yunlong who could potentially be the alternate uh, leader, Star of Yunlong, but he's got uh, 16.50 for the first time, 59 days away and top weight of 133 pounds. Superb Daddy had a really good run last time out but uh, wasn't able to capitalise on that. Big Bang Bong was drawn gate four, so should get a good run on the outside of Flash Famous. Star of Yun Long. He's had a couple of trials leading to this, and uh, his trial at Happy Valley has been very good. Uh, he comes here for the first time, up in trip 16.50, but he's by McPhee, so it looks ideal for him. Barrier two, should get a nice run as per that. Speed map, Farshad's the great on the inside. Finally put it all together and had a nice win at his last start. Drawn a little bit awkward in barrier number nine, but he's gone on from that win and Starlet Knights in an earlier race as well, so keep an eye on him, or he's is racing on the card anyway. Superb Daddy, I made him the best last time. He came out to win the race, but he just didn't go on with it. It was a little bit disappointing in his run, but his second time at 16.50 will give him another chance and he moves nicely here. All right, let's start off with the uh, the win of Farshad, which, um Get some reference to it from the uh, the previous race as well. How run, how well they run. But uh, Zhang Bai Chi and Starship to keep an eye on too. Yeah, I've left him out this time. Far Shad. He got his win here. He'd been threatening whether he can put two together or not. So I guess remains to be seen. He's in the market there. It's uh, fifteen to one at the moment. Matthew Poon riding. Gate looks awkward tonight on this this uh, Wednesday night for Far Shad. Yeah, I got him in for fourth because he's a horse who's quite tractable. He can get back and run on as well. Remember him coming down the outside mm. a few of those runs. So yeah. uh, they might just change the tactics. I'm not about him leading though. Yeah, about tractable is a word I'd use to describe Farshad. He can be a bit awkward. <laughs> well, he is a bit awkward. But yeah. uh, Matthew's ridden before as well, finished second on two starts back. Uh, Joe jumps off. Um, but it might well be he's turned the corner now. Flash Famous, um, this is the horse that Joe will ride on the back of this last start winning class four when he was on board. He'll get, he'll get his opportunity. He's up in class. All his wins have been, uh, as lately had been in class four. Uh, he, he has um, failed in this class from his one go, and saying that he did run a, pl a fourth, Barry one, he'll get his opportunity. One go, 11 goes he's hit in the grade. 11 is my eyes go, for one for one fourth. <laughs> you need another one. Yeah, sorry. You really need to go I to did look time. like 11 and then I saw one and I thought, <laughs> what am I doing there? But anyway, yeah, so I left him out after that. Right, Today. Champion Supreme next. Now he does have um, a derby entry, um, he's still in the derby, but uh, that's probably Quite a bit of a stretch at this stage. Yes, I'd say so. Uh, he was a winner over 1,600 metres two runs ago. Uh, last time out, uh, stayed on OK for third. You can see him grinding away. He's no real world beater, I think. Yeah, that's world famous uh, there on the inside. Um, he just kept on going at the, the one pace. Uh, I didn't put him in this time round. He's tried the course and distance three times yet to win. Six times at Happy Valley as well. Um, you the magnifying glass. Yeah, I've got the magnifying glass out to double check that one and uh, hasn't won yet. So, yeah, here's another one I left out. All right, Star of Yun Long. I don't think you've left him out, uh, though, Paul. We haven't seen him since uh, when? The start of January. Yeah, look, he's, had, he's trialled nicely. Uh, you can see him pulling out and winning really well here uh, over 1,400 metres. This was on International Day when he did win one of the races on the undercard. Uh, he's by McFair, as I say, out to 16.50, looks ideal. He's, his trial looks good. He's, he maps well. Low barrier mm. draw, Vincent Ho's in form. A lot of ticks there for me. He has placed in a trial at Happy Valley before. That was his first ever trial here in Hong Kong. Ryder was concerned with his action last time out. He was withdrawn at the start. Lame right front. He has won over 1,580 metres at the metropolis of Tiaomutu, so he should get the 1650. And Tiaomutu is very like Happy Valley. <laughs> He's money back a place at the moment. Uh, Paul, you'd be steaming into that, Star of Yunlong. Yeah, not, not for the place line, Andrew, but just definitely for the win there, uh, Star of Yunlong. I think he can win the race. Superb Daddy. Now, look, he'll strip fitter for that last run. He came out to win last time. And I thought he was a little bit flat, but he, there is something there of this horse. His work had been good leading into it. Southern Superstar, a little bit disappointing at his last start, but the prior to that is two runs have both been pretty good, and we'll get Farshad a chance as well in there for fourth. But I do like the one to win this race, 1836.
I'm going to take a chance of the price here around the Tony Millard trained uh, super, uh, Southern Superstar number three, uh, who's got the, the black and white colours, or the blue and white colours on, I should say, uh, Chad Schofield uh, riding. I thought his effort first up was a little disappointing. He has run at Happy Valley and Barrier Trials before, and he's had two of those, and I think he does have ability. Went off at 7.9 first up, so take a chance with him. He's nearly 20 to 1. Star of Yunlong number 1, 7 Big Bang Bong, and 8 Superb Daddy, 3, 1, 7, and 8. All right. Bang bong from me from a good draw. He's one off a mark of 74. He's off 67. I think he's too far away from a win. Grant van der Kerk from Barrier 4. Right, that's race uh, number seven. Then one more race to go. Race number eight plus all of our bets. That's up next.